I don't think we've ever talked about a story from the National Enquirer, but there's a Nat on HuffPost Live. But here it is. If you want to look at it on your screens, guys, at home, uh, the National Enquirer story. The headline is Gilligan's Girl Marianne Gone to Pot. I, I mean, there are a lot of accusations in this story. Again, this is you're here because you want to talk about this. Yeah, um, yeah. There are many that the, 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 the article raises. Why don't you just, uh, you know, jump right in and say Well, you, you know, this say. has happened to me about three times. <clears throat> They've come at me for about three times over the last 30 or 40 years. And I, I, I don't know, is it something about taking down the good girl, maybe? They say that uh, you smoke a lot of pot. So I smoke a lot of pot, sit by the pool all day long and don't want to work. It's been the busiest last two years in my life. I've, I've done three plays, two movies, uh, reality show and development. I run a children's museum. I'm a, a motivational speaker. I wouldn't have time to sit and smoke pot. We're in 2012. Pot just became legal in Colorado and in Washington State uh, earlier this week. I don't think many people think that there's all that much wrong with smoking pot. Well, I think everybody has their own opinion on that. I think if you're a parent, you're a little concerned about it. I think if you're trying to work, I think smoking pot is probably not very beneficial. I can't say I've never tried it, no. But that's the last thing I would be doing is sitting around smoking pot and not working. I, what do you say? I don't know how you, I don't, what do you say? I did not do that. I don't sit around my pool smoking dope all day and not, and not working. I did sell my house on a, a selective short sale. So I found a wonderful house to rent. Well, whether I had a garage sale and this started at all, I don't know. I don't know. And so uh, what are you doing now? You moved into an apartment? Is that right or no? No, no, I'm, I'm yeah, this time, shh, don't tell anybody. You <laughs> Got any drugs on you? No, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a nice house. I, but I don't it's, for the record. <laughs> but it's, it's a rental, so if something goes wrong, if the toilet runs over, I can call the landlord. I mean, that's, I, I'm not a young person anymore, and I don't have anybody to take care of me, so I'm looking out for myself and my future, that's all. Do you, I mean, do you resent having to answer these kind of questions from the National Enquirer? Well, I resent the fact that they do it, and I think they called my agent and said, we'll give you till 2 o'clock to refute this, and they left it on his answering machine. So you could call her up and say, no, it's not me. Would they print it? Would they not print it? The, the other two things they said about me weren't right. I mean, is everything you read in the Enquirer true? And I think it's a good point for us to be able to defend it and tell the truth. And I think that's really essential. Do you want to say anything about what they said about taxes? They said, uh, well, yes, yes, of course. You're behind I, on your mortgage and your tax payment. Well, I said I did a short sale. I did yeah. that on purpose. I right. did it with, a, with an attorney's advice. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I, had a bankruptcy. Right I had a bankruptcy in Idaho. Connie Stevens and I talked about that. I ran a film school out of 1,400 people. We had $11 million foreclosures. I was a tiny little town. I had a ranch with 10 acres. I just said to the bank, take it. I can't keep it up. So, yeah, but I'm not destitute. Right. I'm still working. If there's something that you want to say to the people at the National Enquirer or people that might be reading the garbage um, or what, you're, you know, what you have interpreted to be garbage for coming from the National Enquirer, what do you want to say? Leave us alone. Leave us alone. I don't know. I mean... I guess you have to go after negative news, and I guess there's a lot of negative news in the world, but prove it before you say it.